Hey y'all, I'm Tamara and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to have you here. If you are new to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell because I would love to have you back. Today I have a huge haul. I have Sephora, I have Ulta, I have a little bit of Bath and Body Works, a little bit of Coach, and a couple other things. Um, I just wanted to share with you some of the holiday gifts I purchased for friends and family and for myself because I think these would all be really fun gift ideas for any time of the year, whether you're treating yourself or celebrating something special for a loved one. Uh, with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I am not going to share anything that I purchased for my daughter at any of these stores though, because she is listening from the next room and I don't wanna give away any spoilers, but for everything else, um, I should have given these to the recipients by the time I upload this video, so I think we're safe. So I'm gonna start with Sephora, big surprise. Um, the first thing that I bought is something that initially was not on my radar, and now I kinda wish I had bought it during this sale, but say la vie. So this is the Trio Chrome palette, and initially I was not interested because the shades that I saw most prominently are the greens, and I have green eyes, so I really don't wear a green or blue eyeshadow. I just feel like it makes my eyes look red. I, I don't know. It doesn't work for me that well. But um, I was in store last month and looked at this uh, palette in person, and it is so pretty, and then I saw a lot of swatches on Instagram, and I felt absolutely in love. I had to have it. So I picked this one up. The only one from Natasha Denona of the larger palettes that I have not purchased this year is the one, I forget what it's called, but it's the one that has um, like the cooler tone neutral shades. I just don't wear a lot of cool tone eyeshadows, so I skipped that one for now. I may regret it later. Who knows? I'll try to link that one below as well, though, in case you are interested. I also bought the Huda Beauty Naughty Palette. Y'all, this one has definitely been on my radar. And you guys, this palette is like a work of art. It is so gorgeous. Look at this shade, Slippery. That one is almost way too pretty to use. And the detail on these other shades is absolutely stunning. I am so in love, but these colors are my shades. They are absolutely perfect. I cannot wait to try this. I will try to do some swatches for y'all, but I cannot wait to dig in. I'm like beyond excited about this one. Next, Fenty put out a new lip gloss set for the holidays, but I think as long as this is around, this is like the perfect gift for any occasion. Fenty glosses are my all-time favorite. They are shiny, they are nourishing, they are conditioning, but they are not sticky. They do not leave like that weird thing in the corner of your mouth like some glosses do when they kind of start to dry up. Y'all don't want that, you want these. So the shades in this new set are Baby Brute, Taffy Tees, Cake Shake, that one's my favorite, and then Ruby Milk. These are gorgeous, and this is the perfect gift for anyone. You could even buy them like as stocking stuffers or to put in little gift bags and break up the set, you know, like buy a couple of these and then give one out to each friend with a couple other things. Perfect little gift. Next, y'all know I'm nail polish obsessed, and I have been on a quest for the perfect gold glitter nail polish this year. Please leave me a comment below if you have any suggestions for something that is still available. I will probably talk about my nail polish saga somewhere else, maybe on Instagram stories. But this one, it's not like the perfect glitter, but it has these really fun little star glitter pieces and then a really pretty pale neutral pink as well. I think this will be really fun for like the New Year's season. So I will definitely be wearing this soon and I will let y'all know what I think. Next is a restock of my all-time favorite eyebrow pencil, which is Hourglass Arch. I realized I was out of my shade. I wear the warm blonde shade, and the only shade I had when I ran out of my last one was regular blonde, and it was just way too light. So I was like mixing it with an Anastasia uh, brow pencil and trying to get the right shade and putting in like a little eyeliner. It was a mess, so I restocked. I actually picked up a couple of these in this haul. 
Next, I also got one of the brand new little Viseart palettes. This one is Solstice. I'm pretty sure, like 99.9% .9 sure I don't already have it. There were actually two in this collection and I liked this one more because of the colors. Um, love this pink, but the neutral warm brown tones and cream tones are also definitely my colors, so cannot wait to try that as well. Love Viseart. I also picked up a small Pat McGrath palette. This is the Celestial Divinity Risque Rose Quad, and y'all know how much I love Pat McGrath, but check out that glitter, y'all. That glitter is so pretty. I don't normally wear, like, it's kind of like a silver lavender type and I don't normally wear silver. I tend to gravitate more toward gold, but this is going on my eyelids. I cannot wait to try it. I will let y'all know what I think and maybe I can do some swatches as well. I also picked up this Diamond Balm from Fenty in the shade Rosé Rave. Look how pretty that packaging is. It is so sparkly, so pretty. And the, oh my gosh, the actual highlighter is stunning. So I am really excited to try that one out as well. Then I got a bunch of lip products. So I got this Hourglass Lip Gloss. It is one of the cosmic lip glosses in the shade Unreal. I saw somebody wearing this on Instagram and it was just way too pretty for me to pass up. I definitely had to get that. I also picked up a couple more of the Huda, um, I forget what these are called. They're matte lipsticks, but I think they're called like bullet matte nudes or something like that. Anyway, I got the shades Prom Night and Interview. These are so pretty. The only downside to these lipsticks is they are super soft and creamy, but what that means is they break and they melt. So I keep mine in the freezer or in my skincare fridge because otherwise they have a tendency to melt. Um, and I can't really take them out and throw them in my bag because it gets way too hot here in the summer. Wintertime's okay, but the formula is just gorgeous. They go on so matte, so creamy, so opaque, so pigmented. I love them. I just hate that they're so soft and malleable. Next, oh, also from Fenty, I finally got one of the cream gloss bombs. I think that's what they're called. And the shade I got is Fenty Glow. So I'm really excited to try that and see how it compares to the regular gloss bomb. Very, very stoked about that. I also picked up an Anastasia Beverly Hills Special Edition lipstick in the shade Praline. This is gorgeous. And I love the packaging because it's just this really pretty nude shade, but look how gorgeous that color is. It is beautiful. Okay, lip products, I have two more. So these are by Makeup Forever, and I think that they redid their packaging or rebranded their lipstick. I saw these in store, and there are so many colors, and I was just like really impressed. They were so pretty. It's kind of an interesting shape lipstick. And then, um, but the actual formula looks really creamy. I haven't tried them yet. The colors that I picked up are Classy Lace. That's this one. And then the other one I picked up is called Cheerful Burgundy, which is this one. Really, really pretty. That one actually matches my nails. Love it. So I can't wait to try these and see how they compare. I don't know if I have any of the older lipsticks. I will have to see if I have any. And then I can do a comparison of the new formula, new packaging to the old. I also picked up a hair product from Better Not Younger. This is the Super Power Fortifying Hair and Scalp Serum. The brand actually gifted this to me a while back. Um, this is intended for older women, um, which I guess I fall in that category. I am over 40, but this is just really good. I think for anybody who has like dry scalp or you know wants to help like thicken and help their hair grow more, um, plus it just feels really soothing. So I love this. I ran out a while back. I had been thinking about it. So I went ahead and purchased it at Sephora. And then finally, I have had <laughs> some 
big time misses with fragrance lately. I have purchased some very expensive fragrances that either I did not like or my family did not like. I bought one from Byredo called Slow Dance that I absolutely hate and I ordered it from Selfridges so I could not return it and I'm stuck with this expensive perfume that I do not like. I was thinking of reselling it. I don't know. I'll, I'll figure out something to do with it. Maybe one of my friends or family wants it. Um, and then I recently also bought the Tom Ford Bitter Peach, which those are super expensive. I like it, but my family hates it. They just, they are not into it at all. They say it smells like baby powder, like that Chanel. That is just not my vibe. My husband hates it. I like the perfume. Um, so I'm going to keep that one. Uh, we'll just try to like not wear it around him. But I kept hearing about this um, Love by Killian Don't Be Shy fragrance, and people have been talking about it all over the place. Thank goodness Sephora had a small purse-sized bottle because I wanted to try it without spending too much money, and I'm not really shopping in stores with the virus being, well, being what it is. It's picked up a lot everywhere, I guess. Um, so I haven't really been going in stores to try any fragrances. So I bought this small version and you guys, I love it. So this is one I will definitely buy the larger version. It is like my favorite. It's, it reminds me of something I just can't quite figure out or put my thumb on what exactly it smells like. It smells like something else I've worn. It's just super sweet. It tastes, um, tastes, it smells almost like cake batter or frosting. I just love it, but then it's got like a little floral to it too. I'll have to figure out what the notes are and let y'all know, but I love it. I will definitely be purchasing the full size. So that is it for my Sephora haul. Now moving on to Ulta. All right, y'all. So some of you know, I have not had good luck recently with packages arriving in one piece. Um, I had a really big problem with Nordstrom. I have been battling them over getting a refund on a $24 candle that broke in shipment because they literally put it in a plastic Ziploc bag with no bubble wrap, nothing. And it's in a glass um, thing, glass jar thing. And um, let me tell you, Nordstrom has by far the absolute worst customer service I have experienced in a very long time. I am so unimpressed. I guess everything's good when you're shopping with them, but when you have a problem or need to get a refund, it's 24 bucks. I mean, it's ridiculous. So I'll tell y'all about that another day. I've already talked about it on Instagram, but that really irked me. Um, but then at Ulta, they did the same thing. So I actually did go in store at Ulta this week because I needed to exchange a couple of broken items. Um, a couple were supposed to be Christmas gifts for my daughter and they were out of stock. So I had to just return those, order them online. Um, she knows what they are now because she was with me when I returned the broken ones. But I hate it when stuff is not packed. Usually Ulta is really good with the bubble wrap and everything, but this time they weren't. So like I had bought this Smoothie Star Body Butter. I bought several of these and all but one were broken. So they were like cracked, stuff leaking out. It was gross. Also, I bought, oh, and by the way, this stuff is amazing. It is the Soap and Glory Smoothie Star Buttercream. It smells like really sweet and like almond. I absolutely love this one. This is my favorite of all their scents. I also purchased some of the Kenroy Platinum Restorative Shampoo and Conditioner. I love these so much. And I had my 20% off coupon, which I think may be the only 20% we got all year from Ulta, which is really weird. Normally they're on it with those coupons, but I took advantage and restocked some of my shampoo and conditioner both were cracked, both were broken, leaking all over. Some of the other things I got were some eyeshadows and Super Shock Color Pop um, eyeshadows for my daughter, all broken because they were literally just thrown in a giant box with no bubble wrap, no packing. You know how normally they crumple up like that brown paper? None of that. So everything was just like breaking. I'm surprised more didn't break. But anyway, it was really easy to return an exchange. I was just disappointed that they didn't have everything in stock in store, but ordered online, no problem, crisis averted. Um, and I guess given as much as I order online, having a couple packages arrive broken is no big deal as long as they make it right. Still waiting for Nordstrom. Anyway, these are amazing shampoos and conditioners. Absolutely love them. 
I also restocked my favorite OG moisturizer, which is the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizer. I absolutely love this stuff. It is a staple. I have used this for probably 25 years and I keep coming back to it. I um, also mix it, like I'll use different, um, like richer and thicker moisturizers at night. I may use like some different ones during the day, different serums. So this is not the only product I use, but it is like tried and true and it's the one I always go back to. I also purchased some of the Zitsticka Killa stickers. I love these. I have talked about them so much on my Instagram. The brand has gifted them to me in the past, but I purchased these myself because I ran out and they work so well for both me and my daughter. I actually bought a couple of them. Love them. Next, oh, also with hair care, um, I restocked my Kenra Platinum blow, blah, blow Dry Spray. I love this stuff. So it's a heat protectant. It works so well before you blow dry, before you curl, before you straighten. Love it. And it smells really good too. So this is my tried and true heat protectant. I also got this um, Jump Start Quick Dry Blowout Serum from Dry Bar. I actually have never tried this one, but I'm a huge dry bar fan. So I've seen a lot of people talking about it. Cannot wait to check it out. I'll let y'all know what I think. I also stocked up on a bunch of my Ardell Naked Lashes. These are my go-to everyday lashes. I love them. And I think I bought like five or six pairs for myself and my daughter. I also restocked some of my Duo Lash Glue. This is my favorite lash glue. It's the green one and it's actually a brush on. So I just feel like this one, I don't know, for some reason this one tends to stick better or work better for me. Love it. I also got another hair care product. I've been hearing a lot of people talk about this. It's the L'Oreal El Vive or El Vive Extraordinary Oil. I have tried the hairspray from this line and it did not do it for me, but I wanna try this because my hair has been so dry. I wanna to try to get it nourished and people keep talking about this. And if it works well, I'm all for it because L'Oreal is super affordable. So we'll see how that goes. Another restock is my Tarte Shape Tape. I got a couple of these because I am out of backups. I'm down to my last tube and the shade I get is Light Medium Honey. It is like the best concealer, absolutely love it. I also restocked my Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream to brighten and depuff. Love this eye cream in the morning. It is amazing for depuffing and helping to hide those dark circles. All right, what else? I also picked up an Essie nail polish. This one has been on my wish list at Ulta for a while and I finally caved and got it. The shade is Topless and Barefoot and it is just a really perfect, um, super pale nude shade. I think it's very neutral and it's gonna be really pretty. I also picked up the ColourPop Ornate Eyeshadow Palette. I am still kicking myself that I didn't buy the whole collection when it launched at ColourPop. Um, they had another palette called Baroque and the packaging is gorgeous. Like that is totally my vibe. I love it with the flowers. It is so pretty and the colors in this palette are gorgeous. So they still had this one at Ulta last time I checked, but they were out of the Baroque. So I'm really sad. That one had more like blues and grays. So not necessarily my colors, but um, I just like the name. I have an art history degree. So I'm like, oh, Baroque. Yeah, so cool. <laughs> so love this palette. This one also caught my eye. It was not on my radar at all, but look how pretty that is. So this is the Bare Minerals Gin Nude Natural Oasis. I have a couple other of the Gin Nude palettes. They're like little six pan palettes, but I thought these colors were really cute too. Um, they're not super duper pigmented, but they're pigmented enough. And I just really like how soft and buttery the formula is. So I will give that a try. I just, I can't get over that packaging. That is stunning. All right, then the last couple things I got are lip products. The first one is this Milani Fruit Fetish Lip Balm. And the flavor or scent I got is Dragon Fruit Peach. 
I've never tried these, but I, again, I've seen a lot of people talking about them. I guess they have a pumpkin spice version as well. Um, but the holidays are almost over, so I was kind of like, eh, I don't really want to go with pumpkin spice. Maybe if they still have it next fall, I'll pick one up. We'll see. But I'll see how this works. I'm really excited. I love trying new lip products. I also picked up two Bare Minerals lipsticks. I saw somebody talking about these on Instagram and apologies, um, I am easily influenced. I just don't do a great job of taking note of who influenced me to buy different things. But these shades are Honey Bun. Look how pretty that is. And it looks so buttery and nourishing. I cannot wait to try that. And the other one is called Kitty. Same, it is just a really pretty like neutral nude shade, but it's like really buttery and glossy looking. So that'll be fun to try. And then this one I think was, I think by Taryn Brittany is her name on Instagram. And it is the NYX Liquid Suede. So it's like a liquid lipstick. And she influenced me to buy this one in the shade even know what shade it is it says lscl but i don't know what that means soft spoken <laughs> i guess the name is on the side not on the bottom it's called soft spoken so she was wearing it in one of her try on hauls and it was gorgeous so i added that to my to my ulta cart right away and then finally i saw someone else wearing the juvia's place lip gloss it is so pretty and shiny the color i got is so glazed absolutely beautiful. I cannot wait to try it. I love Juvia's Place. So that is it for my Ulta haul. And then next, oh gosh, you guys. So I put on TikTok and on Instagram stories, my Bath and Body Works Candle Day haul. Candle Day is like one of my favorite days of the year. I totally stock up. I think I ended up buying like in total almost 30 candles this year. Um, but I forgot to buy Winter Candy Apple, which is one of my favorite holiday fragrances. I love it so much. Oh my gosh. I would, you know, literally I would burn this one all year because it just smells so fresh and fruity and it's just like totally ripe apples. It doesn't have cinnamon or anything extra in it. It's just a beautiful apple fruity sweet scent. Um, so I went ahead and ordered this one at full price because I was really kicking myself for not getting one during candle day. I know they say that you can um, return one of the candles you bought and exchange it for another flavor, but I've just been really, other than doing that return at Ulta the other night, I've been trying to avoid going in store because the virus cases are so bad in my city right now, but it's worth it because it made me really happy to get this. So I ordered this from Bath & Body Works at full price. I was out of coupons. But I also picked up this Winterberry Wonder. I got the Moisturizing Body Wash and the 24 Hour Moisture Ultra Shea Body Cream. I didn't realize, look how much bigger the body wash is than the um, body cream. I don't know if they changed the size. It's 10 ounces and this is eight ounces, but I thought they used to be the same size. Also, I don't know if this is a new scent from Bath & Body Works, but I smelled it on Candle Day. I was on a mission though. I just wanted to get my candles. So I didn't pick it up, but it's got, um, the fragrance notes are Ruby Frost Winterberry, Sparkling Cranberry, and Crystal Vanilla. And it smells so good. I kept thinking about it. So I'm like, you know what? I'm ordering the candle. I might as well throw these in the cart as well. So cannot wait to use these. And how pretty is that packaging too? Love it. All right, next. Okay. So this is a Christmas present I got for my husband, and this is the coolest idea. I got this on Etsy, and it's from the, I think it's called In High Spirits Infusions is the name of the Etsy shop. I'll link them below. But it's like an infusion. So it's a jar, and this one's called Holly Jolly. And it comes with all the different little things, like you've got candy canes, you've got, I don't even know what else is in it. It's got all kinds of fun stuff in it. Peppermint, candy canes, sweet mint, pink peppercorns, and white chocolate. And so basically you pour your favorite adult beverage into the jar and you allow it to sit and infuse and steep 
for two days and then you have a really fun drink. And this is just um, a holiday drink, so it's called Holly Jolly, but they had a lot of different uh, flavors and I think this would be just a super fun gift for a friend or like, you know, a celebration any time of the year. But I thought that was so much fun. I had to share it with y'all. And I, like I said, I will link the store below. Um, really excited to try it. This is gonna be fun. Okay, next I have a couple more gifts. Um, this is another one where unfortunately a couple of them arrived broken. So I got my kids stuff from Urban Outfitters and I had seen these the last time I was in store on my daughter's birthday. We popped into Urban and I saw these candles and I fell in love. Um, so I ordered four of them so that I would have two to give as gifts and two for myself. Well, two of them broke during shipping. So I'm going to have to mail those back. I went ahead and reordered them online today because I didn't want to, you know, risk having them um, be sold out. But these are absolutely gorgeous. And I'm going to give these two to friends. This one is the Mold Cinnamon and Macintosh Candle. And look how gorgeous that is absolutely beautiful and it smells good um this container would be so good for like cotton balls or q-tips or something in your bathroom when the candle's out so i definitely hope the new ones i ordered come in unbroken the next one i bought is the vetiver patchouli i am not a patchouli fan i hate patchouli i think it smells nasty it reminds me of guys i went to high school with um but this candle is really nice it's really fresh so i actually ordered both of these for myself and then i might have added a couple more to my cart as well um but it is just absolutely gorgeous and i love the little tassel on it it's so pretty but i was so bummed that two of them were broken I also ordered some gifts for myself and for some friends from Anthropology. I have been wanting one of the Subway Tile coffee mugs for ages. So I finally broke down and got one. I think they had a big sale going on. I can't remember. It's all a blur. It was like Black Friday. Y'all know how that was. But I finally got one with my initials. I'm too excited about that. It is so cute. Um, and then I also got the Rifle Paper Company initial mug as well absolutely gorgeous the only thing i don't like are that the ones with the gold leaf you can't put them in the microwave and you also don't want to put them in the dishwasher because it will rub off so you do have to hand wash them and then maybe like heat up i use like a little pyrex glass measuring cup thing if i want to like heat up any kind of water for hot cocoa or tea and put them in one of these uh, mugs it works out um, but these are perfect gifts. It's really great. I love getting stuff with my name or my initial. I love personalized. I love customized. So fun gifts. And then finally, I kind of splurged a little bit on something for myself, but it's one of those things where like I could not stop thinking about it. So I had to buy it. Um, as I mentioned, I have an undergrad degree in art history, so I am here for any kind of art collabs and y'all i cannot resist so this is the coach basquiat collection i actually i didn't know this was a thing and then like i said the last time i went to the mall was on my daughter's birthday and we walked past the coach store and i saw this and i was like oh my god i've got to have it so this is from the Basquiat collection. They had another one um, that says famous with some little chains on it that I loved so much, but it ran out of stock immediately. Um, but how cute is that? And the bag itself is pretty small, but I like this style and I love that you can take the different straps off so you can wear it just like as a little, you know, like a little wrist bag or, you know, use it on your forearm. And um, it also comes with a bigger strap so you can use it as a shoulder bag. And then it's got these, so you can use these as a shoulder strap. So I really love the versatility of that. This is also a nice size. I just, I have not been using large bags lately. I just don't want to deal with it when I go anywhere. Um, but it's got these different compartments. So you can like stick your mask and your sanitizer in one of the front compartments for easy access and then put your wallet in the middle and your phone. 
Um, it is just absolutely adorable. If the other one comes back in stock, I might buy that one as well, but I'll go ahead and link this one. I love it so much. I am a huge Basquiat fan. Um, and speaking of art collabs, did y'all see the Van Gogh palette from Storybook Cosmetics? I ordered that one as well, so I'll show you that when it comes in. But that is it for my haul. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you like my video, please go ahead and subscribe, hit that notification button, and let me know in the comments what you think. Um, if you're interested in any of the products, I will link everything below.